All right, hello, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. I turned on the lights because this game has lost its uh, spooky lighting privileges. Still so mad about that last thing. Also, now it's just kind of crap lighting because I don't have my other lights properly on, but I don't care. This game has lost its, my, it has lost its uh, I'm trying to be good about it privileges. I don't want to go back that way. No, thank you. Fuck you, Nobo. Okay, we're gonna find Dr. Colden. Yeah, the, the terrible, the, the deep dark, deep dark down. I'm sure this is gonna be fine. I never come back to this fucking asylum ever again. I'll be so happy. Game saved. Cool. Whoa. There was a face in there. going on it never ends nope even these so music's getting louder at least hi me damnation that's that's me sure oh I'm in the thing now cool uh, this is fine Huh. Yeah, there's no door. There's no door. Hi. Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You so. must live and find the truth. It I... is already too late for me. Oh, poor Marie. Colden. <laughs> what's going on? Well, found Colden. Was it a hallucination? Maybe. Where am I on on sanity, by the way? Oh. <laughs> it says you cannot have journal. Why are you doing to her? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, she's he's operating Stop on her brain, isn't he? Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around. Oh, she hella dead. Uh, why are you such a scumbag? Yep, she hella dead. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friends. You should envy her. Bullet in his brain. Bullet in his brain. Please. This is the least he deserves. The fuck what? Uh, Marie? Colden? <sighs> okay then, well this was uh... Time for do a uh, good old investigation thing, I'm guessing. Poor Marie. Still no journal. <laughs> Still no journal. Cool. I cannot do anything in this room and it kind of makes me mad. I want to do shit, man. This is uh, just a fun, uh... <laughs> that was a fun little bit of imagery there. Pierce has officially gone super crazy. Alright, no control. Huh? 
Probably one of Sarah, Sarah's paintings. That's cool. That's fine. Nothing terrible about that. Sarah? Hi, Sarah. Sarah. I had a feeling. What did they do to you? <laughs> Lots of meds, I'm guessing. Oh, it's her son's toy. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Curse of Sarah. gave him the gold and I the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. I would like to do that. In my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Oh, Jesus, what is this? Valid San requirements? What? I can't pick any of these. Oh, I have to hit E. I have seen the same color. Oh. It was not as vivid as you said. This will affect your destiny. A cool. Pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible. Terrible consequences. <laughs> All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Oh, sanity walk? requirements. Maybe. Oh. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Oh. It was in your studio. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, how's my sanity looking? Mental drama. Uh, okay, so we're still kind of the same. It's good. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Hmm. Do you not have any shoes? The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. I would gladly. If I never have to hide from those fucking guards again. Here? Okay. What the? Oh no. You there. Do I have to fight now? What? I'm confused. Ah, fine. I don't. What was I supposed to do, genuinely? How am I still only in chapter it was nine? In your studio. It's like the longest what? fucking chapter of the you game. Me. That's where you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have points. I have eight fucking points available. Yeah, give me shit. Okay. Uh 
Say some eloquence. We'll throw some psychology in there. Yes. Saw me. Of course. So I guess maybe I have to run? The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. I didn't know. Follow me. Know. <sighs> what the? Oh no. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're just going. <laughs> yeah. Just you wait. Okay. Okay. Sarah, you good? Okay, Sarah's good. Sarah's still running. Oh wow, you locked that real quick. Ten out of ten. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. Mm. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Joy. Joy and rupture. Okay. Maybe it's just a puzzle in here and I don't have to run around a zillion miles. Okay, I do still have my lantern. That's cool. Okay. Maybe it's just a puzzle. Yeah. I'd be better off finding a tool. Delightful. Oh, okay. That works. Why would you? Why would that? All right. No. Let you do it. We're just gonna swim in it then. Oh, hi, Charles. Sup, bud? Oof. You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. I don't think I owe you fucking anything, or she owes you no fucking nothing. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Can we set the bastard on fire? You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> 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 Uh, what am I supposed to do about this? Hey, poker, yeah, stab the bastard. Oh, his name is Edward, not Charles. Oh, it is Charles. I'm Edward. Duh. Atta boy. Get him, Eddie. Fuck him up, Eddie. Pretty easily, actually. Looks like I'm gonna go in the fire. Never mind. I didn't go in the fire. I'm supposed to do things now? Uh... No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Uh... Huh! All you did for her safety was throwing her in this rat hole! I'm suddenly very I glad that I upped the, the points that enough. I did. <laughs> you let Fuller play with her! Stop! I did everything I could to protect her, but her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Yeah. Uh, it's not her fault. Oh, the bandit! But she refused! At first, Sarah condemned Francis Saunders the moment she offered him the Wanderer. <laughs> Sarah has been in the presence of the myth. I'm getting really dizzy. Long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, oh, she so would dizzy. still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Uh, then we get rid of its members. You 
are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! Uh... No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. I'm so confused. Oh. Go, oh, Sarah. <laughs> Go, Eddie. Hmm. Oh, still, Chapter Nine, Blessed Mother. After the death of Colden, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins, alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man under his monstrous appearance tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. Cool. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. Honestly, at this one, I would question if even the kiddo's dead. Guilt will never Genuinely. Go away. I would be considering he probably has her power. I feel your pain. Genuinely wouldn't surprise me if they just snatched him away as a secondary do plan. To get him back. Anything. If that's ominous as shit. Also, I love the paint streaks on her face. My work was what lured me here in the first place. She began showing me things. Uh. should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Wait, so who is that? Oh, that's the caretaker. Oh. Oh, that explains some shit. Simon. 
Generally, though, we have no reason to believe that the kid's dead. Oh, hi. Huh. Hello there. Ah, it's teefs. Ah, dead too many teefs. <laughs> hey, points. Question Sarah Hawkins. Sure thing. Just an end to the killing. Sure thing. Okay. Uh. Killing easy. We're about to go talk to Sarah, so let's do that. Got a decent bit of psychology now. Medicine is still kind of screwed. Colt is kind of screwed. The rest of these we're getting somewhere. Uh, Sarah, no. Yeah, you do have a choice. The choice is don't fucking do it. Hey, bud. How you doing, Bradley? Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pius. I like you, Bradley. I'm just worried about Marie. Oh, I mean, sweetie Dr. pie. Clinton. Have you had any news? Oh, sweetie pie. I I can't lie to him. I can't lie to him about this. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You you sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, Is she... she might still be alive. You had her help me. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug fuller. There you go. I swear I'll shoot him. Please do. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Absolutely. Oh. Have no fear, Bradley. Hmm. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him myself. Maybe you'll be part of the we mystical intervention, my dude. Something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Could be both. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're uh, a voice of reason, Pierce. As always. So I really wonder, like, what what would I have had to do in order to get my sanity below these requirements? I prefer to be alone. You know what? I respect that, man. I'm so sorry. I cannot even imagine just... Because he, he was way more than a friend to her. She was way more than a friend to him. Mr. He Pierce. absolutely had feelings for her. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a... It sure the fuck ain't. Like Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. We agreed Very to let well, him Sarah. come. What? <laughs> I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. I don't think you should be in there. Sounds like a bad place for you, I'm just saying. Alright, Sarah. Let's have a sit down. You seem different. Well, yeah, yes. she's not being psychopath. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Okay. Because of the Wanderer, you and Drake are up to something. You feel guilty. She knows there's a cult. Charles Hawkins is dead. She's the one that killed him. Because the Wanderer maybe... Maybe I want to do this one? Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the forbidden book. Yeah, about that. I am the one who painted the creature. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. Ow. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. 
You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your uh, actions. That's not about right. No. I am willing to atone for to my say. sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. Maybe? I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Sanity requirements. I, I, I'm never not going to be able to do this one whenever I can do these, just because... Since we can't see what it says, it bothers me, so I need to know. You can't give up. Oh, this whole factor just Even knowing cool. the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. There you go. All right. I'll help you. Interesting. So, I am super pumped that I brought Algernon into the group. His increased sensitivity to the occult opens new ways for him. On rare occasion, he's able to unearth hidden truth when he speaks to the inhabitants of the island. As with everything connected with the myth, using it comes at a cost. Ah. Okay, so if I'd gotten this one, maybe my sanity would be low enough that it'd be a problem. There's the ritual. I'm still wondering about Bradley being disemboweled. Cool. Alright, let's... I don't remember where. Aldrin, where's the fucking... I don't know where this office is. I wasn't paying attention previously. Ah! I did a good job. Right, right, right. It's got this whole stuff. So, okay. I'm seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for mm. her, not you. Somebody's got a crush. I don't care why you're ha. here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. Calm down, Pit. You're... How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What? What do you mean? He found something. Hmm. Ah, the key of Ryla. engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Oh, shut up. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Why are you a douche canoe? Dimensional Shambler. He sold the dagger to Sanders. He must plan to get rid of it. Once again, I have... I've got to do these ones. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? Ah, this will affect your destiny. Cool. I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. Wait, it's the work remains. <laughs> it's very bound high. in human skin, but I it's a copy. Better why you keep it in a safe. Explain, sir, sir. Okay, uh. Yeah, because it was the knife. Did I keep the knife? This creature, the shambler. I hope I kept the knife. What is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. Sure was. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. Cool. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Cool. Well, he sold the dagger to Sanders. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid Yay. that this might only be short-lived. 
You mean that thing could come I do back. really hate the Shambler, I'm yes, not gonna lie. that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. Uh, must have plenty a of genius it. like you must have already found a genius like you. Switch, yes, I sense your sarcasm. Ah, she's good. It does happen that yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature, and to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Rie. Another one of your baubles. Rie. It is no bauble. Who the fuck is pronounced it that it way? Is a very powerful Rie. protection. Able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign <gasps> at its center. Right. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. Mm. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. Hey, I cat. found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Rude. Sketch of a bust. Okay. Find the amulet, find the bust. Cool. So I guess I have to go through the whole fucking house and find this damn bust. That's gonna be fun. Alright, time to go for walkies. Hey Sarah, you know this bust? You know where it is? You're just not gonna talk to me? That's cool. Okay. It's not like I'm here trying to save your life or nothing. It's not like we're trying to save the world co co collectively. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Who knows? Oh! Interesting. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Oh. Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? That's cool. Oh, this is the bust, I think. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. Sure didn't. Yeah, we don't want to stare at that too much. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Uh, I don't know. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Hmm. Whether that would have been enough for her to survive. Totally different question. Ah, there it is. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Oh. Interesting. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. Interesting. Hey. Huh. Sketch must the artifact concealed by art concealed by concealed Charles Hawkins. Ah, oh, we've definitely seen that. I know where that is. Like how how much can we trust Sarah? Like in, in general I want to trust her. Because she's been through some shit, and it seems like she very well could be being taken advantage of by all this. But like... Ah! That was easy. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Affect oh, your destiny, cool! Hi, okay. I'm sure that's fine. Amulet of the Ancients. I got new point. Uh, let's throw a point into 
Spot hidden. So we're a little bit behind on that. Yes. Strength is good, but like, I feel like in general there's so many more instances where I'd rather use the other ones. If only for to potentially get more storyline stuff. Yo. Ah, it's you again. It sure the fuck is. Get over your damn self. Oh. That's all I wanted to know. Hang on, let's check all something real quick. in good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did my sanity just tank again? Oh, it did! Oh, I just lost it. Oh, no. There is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying, which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes, or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. That's cool. Ah. So, apparently that ritual was bad plans. Lost book. Because so powerfully the memory of his drive lose some sanity. Cool. Uh, it's you. Well, that sucks. I am no longer sane enough to make rational suggestions. Have the amulet. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. Huzzah. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Hey, the points. Alright, so we get to go talk to Sarah and hopefully end this fucking chapter. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Ah. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with her. You sure? All right. Oh, Bradley, I like you. I'm sure this is fine. Just, you know, some cops rolling up out of nowhere. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Have I met you? I don't think I met you. you seem to Mutton chops on the left, though. Those are impressive. Nice job, Chief. You got me. <laughs> Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you. The one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses. What? Convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? What? Well, who's Riverside burned? I don't burnt? care about your story. Which I'm cool with. Let me tell you, I'm Safe super cool with Riverside judge. having burned. But, uh, what? You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. Seriously, have I met you? I don't remember you. You might want to try that. Like, who are you and how did I piss you off? You bet I will. And away they go. Where I go, anyway. Did I give them the amulet? I don't think I gave them the amulet. That's probably fine. Chapter 10? Chapter 10! Ah, uh, freedom! With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that cover her. The painter told him told him of her desire to track and kill the dimensional shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. Great. Genuinely though, am I from Darkwater? Because they, they've not explicitly said that, but there have been a couple hints about it, and I'm very curious. Because it's like, how else would What's-His-Tits have experimented on me at some point? This is fine. What's up, bud? You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. I'm sure you have. All good, I hope. Nah. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Like what? Entering private property. Maybe. Twice. Maybe. Aggression. Maybe. Insulting behavior. Maybe. And to top it all, 
arson. Probably not. Uh, I'm not going to do this one because that's a terrible plan. So I want to do one of these two, maybe. Eh, we'll cooperate for right Listen, now, I guess. Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction. And that you don't like guys like me. So Pierce is just However, such an asshole. I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork <sighs> for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? No. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? I don't have enough eloquence for this. But I do have investigation. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. Yay. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. Cool. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. Why, so you it would be, be lazy as, as shit? for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I might have to drop some points in no strength. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> I might night, have to drop Mr. some points Pierce. in strength. Alright. Cool beans. Mr. Pierce. Ha. Ah. The truth seeker. Uh uh. We meet at last. That's so. Who's there? Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I don't like water. I don't like water. Oh, I hate this a lot. Mm. <laughs> I don't like this. I would like to go on record that this is the not good side with the Oh hi, bud. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. As a brag. Which I came to share with you, human. Hmm. I'm drowning. Do not struggle. I don't drown me. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. Why do you don't have a nose but you have a mouth? Uh, this is uh. Oh, huh, valid say. Oh, cool. Uh, we're not. We're gonna. We're gonna struggle. I told you to behave. This is gonna end badly for me. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads This is gonna end badly for me. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, I have characteristics? cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would uh, you like to see her? Do we accept the knowledge or do we refuse the knowledge, then? What do we think? Mm. Uh, this is gonna tank my sanity so much. But I kind of want the knowledge because I'm weirdo like that. Alright, just crack open the brain skull and let's do this. This dr the dreamlike investigation, cool. This will fetch your destiny, cool, great, wonderful. This is fine. I'll let you see for yourself. Hi, child. But do not forget. I'm gonna end up being so insane by the end of this. Your fate has ah. already been written. Yay! Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. I know, child. Please do not chew on it. We. Oh, do we get to be somebody else? Oh, we do. 
You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the mm. shambler. I knew Great. it. Great. Because I wanted to deal with the shambler right again. again. Oh, now I'm Sarah. That's cool. I don't know how to feel about that. Algernon, come back! Okay. Uh, delightful. Wonderful, even. Algernon, why'd you leave me, you douche? Are we gonna go that way? Well, there's a thing down here first. What is it? Ooh, why I'm, why I'm wobbly walking. Oof, this is, uh... That is, uh, Vista there. My goodness. Okay. Okay, then. We're gonna just go through what's left of this door, I guess. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. Okay, so this is- oh, there's Cat. Way the heck over there. Hi, Cat. I'd recognize that sassy attitude anywhere. And the attractive yet annoying as shit feelings that it gives to me. Okay. Find Drake. Why ominous violins? Why are there ominous violins? Oh, she does have a lane. Cool, okay. Ah. How many are there? I hate how that wood sounds. That's a lot of blood right there, that's fine. Can't do anything with that. That's got a crank for Yater, I guess. A crank for- oh, hi! Shambler painting. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. You shouldn't, honestly. Genuinely shouldn't. If only for the suffering that it put me through. Oh, there's enough ups. Algernon, are you se selling me out, you bastard? Hey! You can't leave us! Sorry, old friend, but it's either you or me. No. God damn it, cat. No. Oh, we get to deal with open. this rat bastard again. Open. open up! Open this door! It's here. Yep, it sure is. Rip! to go. Fuck. Is there another one? Oh, is within our reach. this is gonna fucking suck. I had a feeling that's what they were gonna sure do, to do but this is gonna fucking suck. Quickly, come with me. Yeah, sure, great. Love to, man. Let's go. Banish the Shambler. I can't wait. How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Is that so? Then I must destroy these glyphs. Apparently so. Exactly. How can I find them? Also, I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. Cool. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. Cool. Also, I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Will do. Also, straight up, you were- I was supposed to wear that amulet. That amulet was supposed to protect me? The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. The fact that you're like, yeah, this is, uh... That you took it, uh, kinda has me concerned. Somewhere on the floor. Cool. And where exactly is that gonna be? This is gonna suck! I already hate this so much. Find that symbol, Sarah. 
It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Oh, that's why there's so much fucking oil everywhere. Great. Oh, mad as hell. Okay. Just, I hate this shambler bitch. Considering the whole nonsense we just went through with glyphs. Must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'm aware, Algernon. I'm working on it, honey. If you want to tell me where the fuck it is other than just on the floor, that would be helpful. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he the first glyph must have appeared okay, somewhere so I can on blind the floor. him potentially. That's cool, at least. I can maybe defend myself. Ah. The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is ready, Sarah. Run! Oh, come on. The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. I do, unfortunately. Okay. One down. You gonna tell me where this one is at? Is it on the floor again? There it is. Okay, I need I need to figure out a good straight shot between him the and the. Must have appeared. I'm I'm aware. I'm aware, sir. I'm trying to figure out a good safe way to get back down to you. Since we know it's gonna get summoned as soon as I get in it. Try to be intelligent about this, sir. Okay. Okay, so we just it's just three glyphs. The symbol must be here somewhere. I show you. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. impression the shambler is trying to anticipate our actions oh is that so how do you how do you expect me to do anything the about that glyph must have appeared I let's press on gonna hurt you he's getting stronger and more aggressive if he catches up with you try blinding him I would love to There he is. I am so mad. I knew that was gonna happen and then I did it anyway. God damn it. Down in prison. Pierce finally met the mysterious entity men call Leviathan. Being. Yeah, we're playing as Sarah now. The second symbol has been revealed. Oh, the second symbol. You know what symbol. you have to do, Sarah. Okay, so it's being semi kind about this. Not real kind, but it's doing something. Okay, then we get to run back. Okay. So it looks like I can blind him from a fair decent distance. I have the impression the shambler is trying which is to rad. I just gotta not be dumb this time. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. He's gonna come out of this other one now. If you could fucking book it a little bit, that would be great, darling. Now is when matters get complicated. 
I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You mean what? You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? I guess. Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. I guess. Real unhappy about that, but you know. Third glyph. The glyph is near. I'm shut sure up. of it. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Found it. Fucking hell. Okay. Release me now. Out and on. Use the painting. Okay. We're using the painting, I guess. Yes, get rid of this piece of bitch. No, 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 Algernon! Ugh. Oh. The outsider and companion in arms. Cool. Great achievements. It's over. Never been so fucking happy. Game, do not fuck me like this. I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. It's too late. God damn it, Sarah, no! Sarah, do not! I must resist! Please! Don't! Chapter 11! Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon Drake, managed to permanently drive the Dimensional Shamble back at the end of a fierce battle. However, the feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness. She has come to the call of the myth. Dun dun dun. Okay. Sarah. Okay. We're actually going to go back to main menu. Yes. So we can start there on the next go-round. So, that was Call of Cthulhu. It looks like we've got about four chapters left, depending on how long it's going to take to get through them, because chapter nine took me several hours, I think. Well, not several hours, because this is only a three hour long stream, but still, that was an endeavor and a half. Currently linked in the chat are my YouTube channel and my Discord. I highly recommend you check out both if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. But until next time, this has been Lunatic Vixen, advising you to stay crazy. Bye-bye.